chopa chawa wisyon kun chiwi ay ta chis ka nichu kinba muli rato na ji kinba da hupa botenya do gigi piti chas kronki to chis ka nichu kinba muli rato na ji da hupa botenya do gigi piti da hupa botenya do gigi piti chas kronki to pats da hupa botenya do gigi piti Yes? you did. Here on Dantooine, we've got a chance. Well, I may be able to get hired as a servant for one of the influential families here. I haven't yet, but I'm sure I will. At least there's hope here. Tatooine was just dying, all of it. I found a small apartment for now. They're resting now. They're still getting used to their new surroundings. Once I'm working, I'll see about getting them into school. There are opportunities here they would have never had on Tatooine. 
Thank you. I won't trouble you anymore, but thank you. Thank you for exacting my revenge on those people.
again, Candorous. It has been quite a long time. Joggy? He... he was a warrior under my command up to the Battle of Althir. But I thought... You thought I was dead, didn't you? You thought all of us that you had set on that attack had perished. You sent us to die in a foolish attack, while you directed your forces elsewhere. You broke from the battle plan and let us die for it, so that you could have the honor of being the first to kill the enemy commander. I... I did what was prudent at the time. If I had not done it, the battle would have... The battle would have been won anyway. I am tired of your excuses, Candorous. I have spent years tracking you down since the clans were banished, and I will not rest until I've had my vengeance. I challenge you, Candorous. I challenge you to fight the fight you fled that day above Althir, in the doomed seas of Tatooine. I will be waiting for you. I have spread the news of the challenge since I learned you had landed on this world. All the surviving Mandalorian clans know of what I do here, and that we shall meet on Tatooine to settle this debt of vengeance once and for all. If you fail to meet me there, you shall be stripped of all honor and forever cast out of our society. It will be you and me alone in the Doom Seas of Tatooine. A final battle that can only end in death. I shall be waiting for you there, Candorous. I've been given a challenge I can't ignore. We've got to go to the Doom Seas of Tatooine, so I can find Jaggi and kill him for his insult to me. This is between me and Jaggi. You don't have to get involved. If you're lucky, he might spill something before I spread him in a paste over the dunes. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Of course.
for all this stuff, Tybar. Thanks, Tybar. Catch you next week.
Takum just tak Miki Gravel Mogo. Tong hai tuam Gigi Yumalith pa ang inkotu. Kachi ju hai thaudum. Muchas. Takum just. Tong. Muchas. Yes? Takum ju. Tong. Kachi ju hai. Muchasha. Takum juz. Tong. Kachi juz. Takum juz tak miki grabal mogo. Tong hai tuam jiji yu malith pa ang ninko tu. Tak miki gravel mogo. Kach tong hai tuam jiji yu malith pa ang ninko tu. Chipe duana ni bobo. Tong na buong shanu.
Beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Your words mean nothing to me, unless you wish to beg for your life. No, then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. Your wish? Oh. 
Your wish? Yes? 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Sure. Managed to come after all. I see you brought friends. You brought some of your own as well. Ha! Indeed I did. I foresaw that you might need help, so I arranged a distraction. I do not need to hear your excuses, Jedi. I know why he brought you. Enough of this talk, Joggy. Let's do what we came here to do. We both know the stakes here. We both know what we must do. It is only in death that this can end. This is a matter of honor. I cannot stand by this insult. I must do this! He has slandered me and questioned my honor. Among the Mandalore, many have died for lesser insults. I speak truth, and honor is the question here. The deaths of my comrades, your warriors, is a debt in blood that can only be paid by you. When you saw prospects for glory, you abandoned the plan and left us to die surrounded by enemies. If I had not attacked when I did, the battle would not have been won so easily. It would still have been won. You sent your own men to die there, Kanderous. I cannot forgive you for what you did to us. You will pay. That's not the way it happened. The Alfiri were fighting hard. I saw a break in their defenses that left their center exposed. I had to take the chance. If I had not done what I did, many more warriors would have died and the battle would have taken much longer. I stand by my decision. You coward. You glory hunter. You were given direct orders and were part of a plan. You had a responsibility to us. I... I can regret their loss. But it was necessary. They do. I know that. But he did not have to abandon us. He should have stayed with the plan. He cost us hours. But... But I do see your point. But why did you have to leave us there to die while you chased glory somewhere else? I saw a chance and I had to take it. It ended the battle quicker than we would have otherwise, and many of our warriors may have died. Mandalore taught us that opportunism and flexibility in battle were to be admired. You may contradict me, but do you contradict him as well? No! I... I... I see that I have been wrong. I have not been true to the teachings of Mandalore. You were right. I was wrong to question your honor. 
but I must now cleanse mine with my life. And so it shall be. affected me in ways I, I didn't anticipate. I think I'll need time to sort things out. Thanks for what you did. Whatever your intentions might have been, I just need time.
I don't like the sound of this. Chiwi Aita Kachong Chicha Chiwa Aita Kang Kicha na Chupornibo Topa na Oto Bokasa Pampa Kas Kronki to Patslimo Chi Ita Kang Ki Chana Kili Kas Kronki to Patslimo Damn it, Griff. Won't you ever learn? How can my own flesh and blood be so stupid? Helping me with Griff. You you did everything you could for my brother. More than most people would have. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and on the run like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. I know people can change no matter how bad they were, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. None of us is perfect, but I've come to realize that Griff is a little less perfect than most. My brother is what he is, but I've learned to deal with that. I'll never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not going to dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? Okay, have it your way. How can I help? I hope you can put this behind you. You need to focus on stopping Malik, as difficult as that may be. Come, we should continue our mission. I wish it could be otherwise. We've... we've already been over this. We need to... So until... How can I help? We can speak again later. How may I be of assistance? What is it? After my father died, my mother was left to support me alone. A single non-human woman, living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Terrace. It was not easy for her. When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able. But over time, she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us, and had to start borrowing from the exchange. A band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, but she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer, and collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Terrace. 
They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what this is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time of my life. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credits for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. The Jedi could not abide by what they saw there and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with a dream. I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine, and we both know what has happened since then. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream, rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you, but for now, let us keep on the task at hand. How may I be of a... What is... Of course! Idiots, but now there's a stinking Cathar on this world, too. I have as much right to be here as you do, sir. <laughs> yeah, do like the Jedi tells you and back off. Your people are pathetic. It's no wonder we crushed your world so easily. What? What do you know about my world? I know enough that. <sighs> Wait a minute. You look familiar somehow. What? You? This doesn't concern you, Jedi trash. Hmm. Now where could I have... No, he's dead and she likely is too. I... What are you talking about? Maybe I was wrong. Still, I think a specimen like you would be a nice addition to my collection. So, what would it take, Jedi? For you to sell your pet here to me. Now don't be so selfish. We both know Cathair aren't real people anyway. The females make amusing pets, but the males should be put down like the animals they are. I remember one time on Taurus. What? What did you say? What did you do on Taurus, you scum? Put one of you down like the animals you are. So easy. Then I saw one of the females on the auction block. <sighs> but those darn Jedi. It was you. What? Me? Oh, ho, now I recognize where I've seen that face before. You were the little Cathair I was going to purchase. But those Jedi came and stole my pet away from me. When I was fighting with the Mandalorians against the Cathair, I developed an appreciation for these creatures. 
They make excellent servants if properly trained. You Jedi act all prim and proper, but inside you must feel the same way I do about the lesser, non-human species. The Sith at least let their feelings show on the outside. The home world. Come now. Will you let your pet go? I'm sure we can come up with a price we both think is fair. And I will see you dead for what you have done to my people. Uh, hold on a second. D don't be hasty. There is peace. I... I will remain calm. I am a Jedi now. My lust for vengeance must be curbed. Yes, yes. Say no to the dark side, but I will have you yet. Ha!